that close air support will not be diminished over the next four years in this proposed uh, retirement over the next four years of the A-10. Congressman, what the BCA means, and sequestration would be more of this, what BCA means is less CAS. It means less air superiority, it means less strike, it means less command and control, it means less ISR. So we are going to have less capacity to every mission we have in our Air Force. That's just what the law does to us. Uh, so what we do is go to the command commanders and say, where do you want to take your risk? We have a fleet of other aircraft who can do close air support in this environment well. We'd like to have every tool we got right now. Um, and, but they want more ISR before they want more CAS. 18% of the CAS sorties since 2008 have been flown by the A-10. The workhorse of our CAS fleet today in reality is the F-16. It's flown thousands more CAS sorties over that time period than the A-10. There's some scenarios the A-10 is much better at than other airplanes. There's some scenarios the AC-130 is best at. There's some scenarios the B-1 is best at. But we have aircraft that can do this mission in this environment. The F-35 will not be a great CAS platform at IOC in 2016. It was not intended to be at that point in time. It won't be fully developed. In 2021, when it reaches full operational capability, it will be a different story. We're in the process of developing new weapons capabilities for it. We're looking at how we move the CAS culture from the A-10 into our F-16, our F-15E, and the F-35 units as they stand up, both active and guard units and reserve units. Th this is a mission we've been doing since the Second World War. We will not slow down. Uh, so you know, I have a Marine Corps infantry officer's son. We are not walking away from close air support. Okay. Good. That's, that's very good. I mean, I think that's what the committee wants to hear is that, uh, that that support and confidence is still going to be there. And then as a, uh, from a, a, a basing perspective, do you anticipate that as the F-35 comes online that it will replace the A-10 at the bases in which they're, they're being retired from, or is there a basing yes, selection that, process? That's the plan. That's one, and one of the concerns we have is the transition plans we've built for the units, especially in the reserve component. Um, we're worried that if we don't transition on schedule, then those transition plans are now going to be, be at risk. And we don't want that to happen either. Great. Thank you again for your testimony. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, Mr. Graves. Mr. Mr. Veskolaski. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Now, I'd like to talk about uh, readiness, if I could.